We got the new knives! Including one from Rhea, which you guys have been waiting on. Let's light it up. So folks, the PLXT is in. This is one that we've been playing with for a decent amount of time now at Blade Show West, at Blade Show in Texas, and we've been waiting avidly for this. Um, really like this design. It is it is fairly thick, I will say, for its size. Uh, with a lot of companies that have been going as thin as they possibly can, this one actually fills up the hand really nicely. Nitro-V on the blade steel, and it is a pivot lock. So we've got the button on the pivot right here. You just press that down and it falls shut. Um, really cool design. It also has a safety lock built into it right there so that it locks the blade in place when it... And I don't know if it locks it when it's closed. No, it doesn't lock it when it's closed. So I didn't know, that. I didn't know for sure on that one. But we've got a bunch of different colors in this one. We've got it in blue. We've got it in this... Uh, I guess black micarta right here um, with the blade coatings and without it's red and black i think that one's super sexy it's kind of got a sports car feel to it those are all coming in at 117 even like i said nitro v on the blade steel um, really i would say formidable blade steel um, didn't make it into march madness but I, I feel like that's an underrated blade steel uh for a lot of people um and I think it's because a lot of people don't have experience with it and haven't used it that much. But I like it, and I think you might be taking one of these home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think I'll be taking this one right here. Oh, let's see. There we go. I like yeah. them a lot. They, they're just they're a great size. They fit in the hand good. They're just a good EDC knife. This one's definitely my, my color style for sure. Yeah. Drab. Uh. <laughs> had to go there had to go there uh want to go through before we get to more new stuff some restocks first up hinderer um so we got the hinderer eclipse back in in several different colors including the red that is one that is very sought after um, this is the eclipse three and a half inch tanto s45 vn on the blade steel this is the triway uh stone wash finish and got the titanium on the back side right there Tip up or tip down pocket clip, whichever you prefer. That one's at 425. Really good action on that. It just pops once you get the, get it past that detent. It just flies out there. It's also got the flipper. That's a highly sought after knife. Really heavy duty EDC right there. And of course, Hinderer always makes incredible quality products right there. Just really hard to come by. So those will be up online very soon if they're not already. Um, and they're going to go quick. So get them while you can. Another restock that we got, and this is a new knife, um, is going to be this SB right here from Protec. But we got a lot of Protec back in. Um, really good action, as you have come to expect from Protec right there. That one's just beautiful. I, I really like this knife. And one thing that Protec is really great at is a phenomenal action at an affordable price. When you talk about out the side autos, I mean this one's coming in at 300 with Magna Cut. You get a good bang for your buck when it comes to Protec. Um, I agree with you on the fact that this fits really well in hand, and I do think there'll be no problem selling this one because some people just buy whatever. Yeah. Protec puts out. Same with Hinderer. There's just groups and droves of people who they don't care if they even have yeah. the same one. They just continually buy them over and over and over again. Uh, Protec is another one of those brands. If you want to, they're very collectible. They're very high sought, very sought after. So, yeah. If you want to jump into it, and this is available, you don't see the this blue sapphire blade on everything, and. I could only probably imagine it would go up in value if you don't, you know, beat the heck out of it. Oh, absolutely. We also want to add another one to the list of X-Wings available. I think this one's going to be a really popular one right here. So this is the Ultratech in the traditional single edge design. And this is in the Ultratech series. And this is probably going to be one of the more affordable, if not the most affordable in that entire line coming in at 365. Um, M390 on the blade steel, of course, got the X-Wing design in the handles. Those have been insanely popular. 
And right now we have a full lineup of those in all the different sizes and blade shapes uh, available. So we've got Hellhounds, uh, we've got them in the Ultratech and the UTX-85, we've got Double Edge, we've got Tonto. Even with this being the cheaper blade, there is still a lot of work in this blade. Oh yeah. From you got this little divot in here that that's took time to put in there. The blood groove. Yeah. And uh, I like to call it the blood groove to get people mad. Yeah. And then you look at that swell on the tip. You see that? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I could. And I love this design. And you can see that what they've done is they've uh, got a nice swedge on the top side of the blade here, which thins this part out. Um, but you can see they're putting uh, a nice swell up there. Just crazy like it, that. It gives you a little bit more stability on the tip, especially if you're doing things that you shouldn't be doing with your knife, like trying to use it as a pry tool and stuff like that. So, I just feel like we've lost this whole segment. We have. Yep. So, yep. We went off the rails hard. It's, it's a knife not that hold it together really not mature enough we've, today. Knives. We, we got, got them. them. <laughs> we, we got them. We got knives and we want to sell them. Uh, we got a restock, a huge restock on Honey Badger. And I wanted to show this one off in particular. So in the past, most Honey Badgers have either come in 8CR13 MOV for their budget line, um, for their mid-range line or their their higher end as far as what they offer D2. Uh, this one is actually the medium drop point right there in 14C28N. That one's coming in right around 66 bucks and that is going to be a phenomenal That's option. a good blade still that I it feel is. like people really don't know about. People sleep on 14C28N. It's a great uh, Sandvik steel, um, stainless, and it, I think... I think people get turned off by numbers coming first in blade steel. Okay. Does that, I, I, think, I think there's a stigma to that. I can see that, yeah. Um, they're, they're, they want to see the S first, or they want to see, you know, yeah. an M first. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I get that, totally. So... I hadn't really thought about it that way, but that you, you might have a point there. You might be onto something. Um... And I like with this version, I like that it has the finger troil so you can choke up on it right there, get a good firm grip. Um, this one does pass kind of the finger test from Ben. Um, reversible pocket clip, FRN handles, and those are swappable. So we've got a ton of different colors of those Honey Badger handles available. So if you don't like the black, you can get a ton of different colors to put on this thing. And for under 70 bucks, you get a good solid beater EDC that is going to last and hold up really well. I've still got mine from them that is uh, D2, and I absolutely love that thing. Some of you have already ordered these, but we are really excited to show them off to it. This is the Hawkeye, and I've been super excited since we showed this one off last year as a sample. Um, didn't have the shield or anything like that, but beautiful bone handles, gorgeous fit and finish on this thing. Um, really nice inlay on the on the shield right there. I like that there's a lanyard tube in the back end. Nice finger choil, so it's super comfortable. Up next, we've got the Red Jigbone Balboa. This one's a beast right here, all right? And again, D2 on the blade steel, Red Jigbone on the handles, and this thing is an absolute beast. Almost like I would, I mean, you could use this as like a chopping knife for in the kitchen. Feels very sous chef -y. Yeah, it does. Um, but in a slip joint, that's that's the cool part. So that one's coming in at $54.99 right there. Um, really highly anticipated as well. I love that we're doing bone on some of the handles. Now, if uh, you don't like the bone and you, you still want that micarta, we've got the, the chili pepper right here. I think that's what it's called, the chili, nope, excuse me. This is the shapeshifter in red chili micarta. I was thinking chili pepper micarta, but no, it's the chili. red chili, no peppers. Um, Cause we can't do their music on the channel or we'll get dinged. But red chili micarta on the handles. This is the shapeshifter right there. Really interesting design on the handle. And when I hold it, my finger, my pinky falls into that easy open choil back there. D2 again on the blade, still nice worn clip blade, and awesome snap. Dude. So and that, that's the thing with this one. It, it fits into every groove of your hand, even down, like you said, with the pinky, and it fits good. So like 
if you're using this all day, you're not going to have a bunch of hot spots. Yeah. So, and, and it's, it's a big handle to take up your whole hand. So you're not trying yeah. to get a cramp in your palm mm -hmm. or anything. Uh, it's, it's, it's a legit work knife. Yeah. So this one called the ghost fish. And this is a really cool little design. Another really popular one. Uh, G10 on the handles right there. Really nice smooth inlay. And D2 on the blade steel. And that is an absolute beast right there. Just a beautiful knife. They are not as easy to make as smaller, thinner knives. Those are very difficult to produce. Uh, but this one's coming in at $56.99 for really good fit and finish. Beautiful knife. Fits in the hand really nicely. Again, with this one, my ring finger falls into that choil there and it just fits really good. I, you don't see this style very often. Yeah. And I think in that end, it's very unique. And I really love um, the finish on the bolsters of all these Rough Riders. I think it's a very cool way to make yeah. it look a lot more modern. So yeah, that's 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 the show. We we've, got we we got a ton of new knives, and we're gonna have more for you next week. We I, I mean there were so many more that I could have put on the show today, but I didn't because I didn't want to make it too long, and too drony for you guys. I want you to stay interested. So we've got more really interesting stuff, and we're getting more every day. So stay tuned because we've got more coming at you next week. Also tune into our lives. Um, we go live on YouTube and on TikTok every week. Um, and that's where we get a chance to interact with you guys and actually show you some of the showroom. And while you're at it, check out all of our social media because right now we've got March Madness Blades going on, forging the ultimate knife bracket challenge. And what we're doing with that is you guys pick the winner. So we've got a poll set up. And then when we move on to the next round, the votes that you guys put in are who chooses the winner in each of those matchups. Now, once we finish... This, this round that we're in right now, we will have our four winners from each category, from each region, as it were, yes. correct? And yes. those four will make what you guys chose as the ultimate knife. And we might have a little surprise for you for the championship game. We're going to have a question for you guys. Um, and we've also already had some manufacturers chime in and... Uh, We'll see, we'll see what ends up happening with that. We're really excited, and you guys have been turning up, uh, making those votes. So if you haven't yet, check those out. We've got a link in the description below for that poll. And all you got to do is vote on that. You guys get to choose the winners. That has nothing to do with us. You guys pick the seating and, and who actually made it into the tournament as far as blade steel, lock type, blade shape, and handle material. And we're really excited to see what you guys choose. And as always, remember... This is SMKW. Remember, if it cuts... Well, we didn't do a pocket check. Oh, that's right. What are you carrying? <laughs> I'm just going to go right into it. I am carrying my Civivi Thug oh, and Wood and see? Damascus. What do you have? I've been carrying the last couple of days my Benchmade Mini Adamas. One of the most comfortable pocket knives I've ever felt. And I like the look of it, too. Um, but that's what I've been using for the last couple of days. Greg over here is carrying a Rough Rider 1985. So. Nice. That's a cool one. I don't think I've seen that one in a minute, Greg. That's a beautiful knife. Let us know what you're carrying below and close us out, T. Well, folks, here at SMKW, remember, if it cuts, we carry it. Carry it. We carry it. Carries us. We carry it. Yes. Yep.